Brown. Brown gets it back, wrists it, put down and jammed into the net, a score by Providence, mishandled by Willette, and the loose puck ends up in the goal. After a hot start, the Black Bears surrender the first goal. Well, it's so important to get bodies to the front of the net. You're going to see a puck getting, uh, getting tight there, and I think that's Rooney crashing the net. Yeah, and that's number 121, Chris Rooney, as the puck gets shot in on goal. Willette unable to handle the rebound. Now look at the main defenders. They're just kind of standing there, and Rooney is, uh, he finds the lane, finds the open space. I was too busy pontificating. Black I saw Bear. something about Halloween there. Score by the Black Bears, Mike Cornell. A four-on-four four goal, and Cornell beats Bodry to tie the game at one. Well, I bet Alex Bodry wishes he had this one back. Mike Cornell from way out. And this is not a slap shot. This is just a, a whistler, low and hard, wrist shot. Goes, appears to go right between the pads. And we're going to look at it here. He just doesn't stop it. He just kind of whips it right on net. He had a perfect view of it. Nobody in front of him, and he just whiffed on it. I think it went five hole. Maybe. Still loose there. You can see it just outside the paint. It comes now to Matt Mangin. Mangin cuts in behind him. He'll try a wraparound block. In front, score! zone probably for about a minute grinding mucking working hard and keeping uh, the play alive long enough for something like this to result in good work leading up to that whole sequence for Maine because as Nimick's lead pass is too far for Hegarty now Hegarty under some pressure loses at the blue line pass brought in Army scores the game is tied at two Check that, Rob Maloney. Maloney scoring for Providence to tie the game at two. He went to the back end, cutting right to left, beat Willette up high, and we're all even. Well, once again, Chris Rooney is in on this. He gets the puck in the middle of the ice. Nice feed across to Maloney, and boy, oh boy, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a power move. Right to the middle, backhand up high, up tucked it up under the crossbar. And that ties us up at two. That's a breakdown by Maine at their at their defensive blue line. All possession, but the fans like the hit. And O'Neill's got it back for Maine. So we're five on five now. It's the first penalties expire. Maine shot score. Distributes the puck to the right wing side. Joey Diamond there. There you see, you see the pass. Put a nice place where Joey Diamond can shoot it right away. Right on goal and into the goal. Past Alex Beaudry. And that'll Second half of his season last year really turned some heads and earned himself a, an important part in the lineup this year. Brought in behind the net and all the way around. Wrap around and a score. A four on four goal. Boy, oh boy. By Ross Mauerman. Well, I think it was Demopolis from Mauerman. Check that, sorry, I Reg apologize. Yes, yes. Well, re regardless, I mean, I keep talking about these freshmen. Watch as Mauerman wraps the net, and there's Demopolis, completely unaccounted for by the main defense. Watch as uh, Will O'Neill tries to steer him wide. He does, but he, he cuts the net in a way. Notice how quickly or tightly he cut the net. That eliminates the back-checking pressure from O'Neill. Now he's got his hands free. I would say... Uh, Coach uh, Lehman has his club right where he wants to be on the road, third period at Maine. Score! A shot by Ryan Hegarty gets through, and the Black Bears take a 4 3 lead. Let's uh, roll the tape back and let's just. <laughs> Would you like to revise your comment? <laughs> I'd like to revise my prior statement, <laughs> officer. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Well, good for Maine. <laughs> got the, the tie-breaking goal. Is this Will O'Neill? Hegarty. Hegarty, I'm sorry. Of course, left-handed shot. Battle. It Black has. Bears have led 2-1, to 3-2, to two, and now 4-3. to three. Well, in 4-3, to three, a lot of time left, so. Make it 4-4. Well, there. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> Steven Shemansky scores.
fires <laughs> from inside the point right over the glove of Martin Willette. Oh, boy. And we're tied again at four. My goodness. What is going on here? Shemansky, the point shot, not a particularly hard shot, but, did, you know, up high, Martin Willette not able to handle it. Oh, got to, got a piece of it. Uh, Anthony hit a little, uh, got a little piece of him on the way by, changed the direction. and not In the offensive zone, Abbott's got it behind the goal. Spencer Abbott trying to maintain, maintain control along the left side, brings it back to the point and sends it all the way across for Manji. Shot! Loose in front! Oh, Flynn was there. Now he'll wrap it in! <laughs> Brian Flynn fails in his first attempt to get that puck back on net after the shot. Somehow he's down on the ice and he wraps it around. He's on one knee and he just spins it around past Alex Beaudry who can't believe that he got beaten like that. Brian Flynn is surrounded by Providence defenders and somehow he's able to spin that puck around, maintain it on his stick. That is very hard to do. He spins it all the way around and just sweeps it into the goal, and Maine walks away with a 5-4 victory. A very, very entertaining.